In today's video, we are going to be talking about what Windows Authentication for Azure Active Directory principles on Azure SQL Managed Instance really means. Well, we will do a setup, we will do a demo, we'll go through the nuts and bolts of this brand new feature and the capabilities it provides for allowing authentication scenarios to be unlocked for your data professionals. Before we begin showing how the feature works, we need to explain the setup. So in my basement, I have a old HP server that is running the following virtual machines. I have a domain controller running Active Directory 2019 with Active Directory domain services and DNS installed. I have an Azure Active Directory Connect, AAD Connect, running to sync my on-premises domain objects up into Azure. I have users, groups, and devices to allow for a hybrid AAD join for my virtual machines in my on-premise domain. Lastly, I have the jump box. The jump box has a SQL Server Management Studio and Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition installed. This will allow me to set up and configure the user in SQL Manage instance, and then allow me to write an SSIS package that will retrieve some data from my SQL Manage instance, which is hosted in Azure, to my on-premises domain for my developers or report writers or some manager who wants an Excel file to mess around with some data. Very simply put, to get the data out and bring it back to the ranch. I want to take a moment to talk about Azure Active Directory Connect. When you build your on-premise environment, you will need this tool to sync your users, groups, and devices from your on-premise environment and domain up into Azure Active Directory. This is what will allow your on-premise user to have a matching pair in Azure for you to then use the Windows Auth functionality of uh, Visual Studio or the SSIS component or SQL Server Management Studio, for example, to actually get that login to work. It needs to be synced up to the cloud using this tool. Uh, we won't go through the setup of this today as it is fairly complex. And in most mature organizations, this will already be configured for you. I just wanted to call it out as another bit of the setup that you will need to keep in mind. What you see here is my Azure portal with the identity tab for my SQL Manage instance selected. I need to enable system assigned service principle for this to work. Once I have turned this option on and I configure Azure Active Directory to allow it to use the identity, I can set up the service principle from my on-premises domain to allow it to log in to my SQL Manage instance. All right, so now that I have everything configured and set up, I can run my SSIS package that will connect to my SQL Manage instance through public endpoint, go to the Adventure Works database, SSIS out some data, and drop it onto a folder on my machine. I'm gonna start this package. It won't take too long to run. The data set is about 750,000 records. And there we go, all complete. So I'll go ahead and stop this and open my folder. There's my output, a whole 29 megabytes. And as you can see the data, there we have it. Again, the user that was authenticating to this SQL Manage instance, when I open Connection Manager, looks just like you would use SSMS for Windows Integrated Security. The Kerberos authentication ticket was a successful login thanks to the new feature that we've introduced in the SQL Manage instance, allowing Windows authenticated users using AAD Manage principles to get a Kerberos ticket for this login feature. Thank you.